minus y equal to 4 let me call it equation 1 then the second equation 3x plus y equal to 11 equation 2 there are three methods by which you can solve simultaneous equations one of the methods is by substitution substitution the second one is elimination and the third one is graphical method so by the use of graph I'm going to use the three methods in this question and subsequently I will use any method that is faster which is likely elimination so how do we use substitution in substitution, we will make one of these equations, we will make one of the unknown variables the subject of the equation. For example, from equation 2, I can say let y from 2, let y be 11 minus 3. Thanks. Thanks. I make y the subject of the equation. So let's call this equation 3. And since equation 3 is formed from equation 2, we can substitute the equation 3 into equation 1. In other words, anyway, I see y in equation 1. I'm going to replace it with 11 minus 3 as the substitute. Substitute y in equation 1. Or equation 3 in equation 1. Let me put it that way. Substitute 3 and 1. So that equation 1 becomes 2x minus, instead of minus 1, I'm going to replace it with this 11 minus 3x. 11 minus 3x. Now notice that I introduce a bracket because this minus will affect both 11 and negative 3x and equal to 4. So that 2x. Minus times 11 is minus 11. And minus times minus is plus. And 3x equal to 4. Collecting like terms, these two and 3x are alike. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. Minus 11 is equal to 4. Again, 5x, this minus 11 crosses the equality to this side. It becomes plus 11. 4 plus 11. Which implies 5s is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5 to get the value of x. 5 cancel 5. s is equal to 15 divided by 5 is 3. Therefore, s is 3. I'm solving for y using any of the equation for y. And since Equation 3 has clearly defined y, that y is equal to 11 minus 3s. Let me just substitute that uh, for value of s right to way into this place. Any of the equation, either 1, 2, or 3, will give us the value of y. But let me use equation 3. This is 11 minus 3s. That will be 11 minus 3 times 3, which is 11 minus 9. That is 2. Therefore, s is 3 and y is 2. This is by substitution. Now, I'm going to use elimination to solve the same question so that I will see what we get. I'm using elimination now to solve the same question 2x minus y is equal to 4, equation 1, then 3x plus y is equal to 11, equation 2. To eliminate this, I'm going to eliminate y, since 
the coefficient of y in both equation one and equation two are one. Any term or any variable you want to eliminate, the coefficient has to be the same before you can eliminate it. So like x here, let's assume we want to eliminate x. We must make sure that the coefficient of x in equation one and in equation two are the same. But in this case, they are not the same. Before we can eliminate it, we have to make them the same. Since this one are the same, we have one, one. We have, can eliminate this one right away. And when the signs are different like this, like we here we have minus one y, here we have plus one y. We can eliminate them by adding them. Thus, minus one plus one, for example, is zero. On the other hand, if the signs are the same, for example, if I have plus or plus, let's assume I have plus here, to eliminate, we subtract. If we have minus, minus, to eliminate, we also subtract. So the point is, if you have different sign, plus or minus, uh, plus or minus, you add, if you have the same sign, either plus, plus, or minus, minus, to eliminate, you subtract. So in this case, I'm going to add this equation so that minus y plus y will be zero. That is what I want to achieve. So adding equation one to equation two will eliminate y. 2x plus 3s is 5s. 4 plus 11 is 15. To find s, we divide both sides by 5. By 5. So that this 5 will cancel this 5. Which implies s is equal to 15 divided by 5 is 3. Which is what we get when we solve with substitution. Now solving for y using any of the equation, let me use equation 2 this time around, using equation 2, equation 2 says 3x plus y is equal to 11, s is 3, so 3 times 3 plus y is equal to 11, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus y is equal to 11, y therefore 11 minus 9 which is 2, therefore S is 3 and Y is 2. So that is by elimination. The last method is the use of graph. As you can see, I already have a graph there. So how can we solve this question using a graph? Let's get into it right away. To solve simultaneous equation using a graph, we only need two points. So if I have 2x minus y equal to 4, I need to know x and y intercept. And now to get or to find x intercept, intercept, I will put y to be 0. If I put y to be 0 in this equation, that means 2x minus 0, which is still 2s, is equal to 4, which implies s is equal to 4 over 2, which is 2, meaning x intercept. <coughs> that is where I'm going to plot my point on the x axis. That is what I mean by x intercept. x intercept is equal to, we said <coughs> y to be 0 then, and we obtain the value of x to be 2, with the intercept will be 2 and 0, 2 and 0, 2 for x, 0 for y, okay, we'll do the same thing to find y intercept, so to find y intercept, put x to be 0, if we set x to be 0 in this equation, that is 2 times 0 minus y is equal to 4. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus y is equal to 4. Meaning minus y is equal to 4. Divide both sides by minus 1. Minus the cancel. y is equal to negative 4. Therefore, y intercept. is 
0 and negative 4. Now that we know the value of x and y intercept for the first equation, let's plot the point. First of all, I will draw my line on my graph. Let me use a ruler here. Okay, so for x and z, so x intercept, we have 2 and 0. 2, let's assume this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. 1 and 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This should be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, for the first equation, which is 2x minus y, my x-intercept is 2 and 0, so I'll put a point on 2. There's a point there. Y, y intercept is negative 4. I'll put a point here. And then with my ruler, I'll connect those two points together. Okay? So connecting the points, you know? Very good one. Let me extend the points up. Very good. So this is the first equation. Let's divide it. The equation is 2x minus y, right? Let's confirm that. 2x minus y equal to 4. 2x minus y equal to 4. That is the first equation. And then do the same thing for the second equation, which is 3x plus y equal to 11. To find x intercept, x intercept, we put y to be 0. So that 3x is become 0 plus 0 equal to 11. 3x therefore is equal to 11. <coughs> And the question is dividing both sides by 3. 3. This will go. S is equal to 11 divided by 3. 3 whole number. 2 over 3. That S intercept is. to be 0. So if s is 0 in this equation, I have 3 times 0 plus y equal to 11. y therefore is equal to 11. y intercept therefore is 0 and 11. But this is my graph. I don't have up to 11. That means I need to adjust my unit here. I need to adjust the unit to accommodate 11. So for the first graph, we are going to remove the line and adjust the unit. So instead of having 1, 2, 3, let, let's use 3. If I use 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, that 2 is not enough. Let me use that. Let me use 4, 8, 12. So here will be negative 4, negative 8, then negative 1, 12. Okay? But this one we can still leave it as 1, 2, 3. Since the highest x intercept I have here is 3, whole number 2. Over three. Let me remove these points that I plotted in. So for the first equation, which is where is it? Two x minus y equal to four. The x intercept is two, while the y intercept is negative four. Negative four. So negative four is right here. Let's plot it there. 
then two is right here. That is for the first equation, which the ruler will connect the dots, join it with the straight line. And that is for the first graph. Then for the second graph, what are the intercepts? The intercept x intercept is the second graph, a second equation. X intercept is 3 O number 2 over 3, is 3 right here. Let's assume 3 O number 2 over 3 somewhere here. We put in there. Then, Y intercept is negative. Is it negative? No, it's 11. Y intercept is 11. The 11 should be somewhere here. Let me just put in there. The arrow should be somewhere here. Then with the ruler, we connect the two points, join the two points together. We miss this a little, but you have the idea. Even though it's a rough work with it, you still get the same answer. So where the two lines intersect, that is the solution for the equation. Remember, this is a graph of two edges. What was the equation now? 2s minus y equal to 4, minus y equal to 4, and this is a graph of 3x plus y equal to 11. This is 3s plus y equal to 11. So this point where the two line meets is the solution to this equation, this simultaneous equation. To get the value of x, we trace the point of intersection to x as it, which is 3 and that is s equal to 3 s equal to 3 to get y we trace it to y axis which is y equal to 2 but this is 4 right here half of this if you trace this one down here that is half s equal to 3 and y equal to 2 which is the solution we got from both substitution and elimination. And that is how to solve quadratic equation using a, a graph. Let's move on to more examples. Example two, which is example 11 actually. They solve the simultaneous equations. I have two over three X minus one over two Y equal to two. Let's call that equation one. Then the second equation, I have three over four X minus one over three Y equal to three O number one over six. Let's call it equation two. First of all, <coughs> we need to clear these fractions by multiplying each of these terms by the LCM. The LCM of three and two for the equation one is six. So if I multiply each term of this equation by six, six times two over three X minus six times one over two Y equal to six times two over one. Three L one. 3 here 2, 2 here 1, 2 here 3, 2 times 2s is 4s, 3 times y is 3y, equal to 6 times 2, 12. Let's call this equation 3. And LCM of 4, 3, and 6 is 12. So I'm going to multiply each term of this equation by 12. So that I have 12 times 3 over 4x minus 12 times 1 over 3y equal to 12 times. First of all, let me turn this to an improper fraction. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 over 6. 6 here 1, 6 here 2, 3 here 1, 3 here 4, 4 here 1, 4 here 3. 3 times 3s is 9s. And 4 times y is 4y. 
equal to 2 times 19, that will be 38 or so. Yes, 38. So let's call that equation 4. I'm going to solve equation 4 by 3 and 4 simultaneously. Solving 3 and 4 simultaneously. Three says four x minus three y equal to twelve. Y four say nine x minus four y equal to thirty-eight. So to eliminate y in this case, I'm going to multiply this by four. Then I'll multiply equation four by three. What I did there is to exchange the a coefficient of y, coefficient of y in equation 3, I multiply, I use that to multiply equation 2, then I use coefficient of y in equation 4 to multiply equation 1. Doing that will help us to have the same coefficient of y in equation 1 and equation 2. So 4 times this is 16x, <coughs> 4 times this will be 12 y equal to 4 times this is 48 3 times 9s is 27s and 3 times 4 is 12 equal to 3 times 38 1 1 4 okay we are eliminating this 12y here and since we have the same sign we are going to subtract the equation. So I'm subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. 12y minus 12y will be 0. 16x minus 27x is negative 11. Equal to 48 minus 114 is negative 66. Dividing both sides by negative 11. Negative 11. So negative 11 will cancel negative 11. Now, Minus cancel minus 66 divided by 11 is 6. So x is equal to 6. Now solving for y using equation 1. What is equation 1 says? Okay. Using equation 3 instead of equation 1. Because equation 1 have fraction. So to be easier to use equation 3 which is 4x minus 3y equal to 12. Using equation 3, 4x minus 3y equal to 12. 4 times 6 minus 3y is equal to 12. 4 times 6 is 24. Minus 3y equal to 12. Minus 3y is equal to 12 minus 24 minus 3y is equal to minus 12. Divide by minus 3, minus 3, this will go. And minus 12 divided by minus 3, minus cancel minus y equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. Therefore, s is 6 and y is 4. Okay, in this case, I'm not going to use graph. Now, uh, example 12, so you solve the equations. <coughs> 3x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 2x plus 5y minus 10 equal to 4x minus 3y. In mass, if a is equal to b, and b equal to c, what it means is a is equal to c and b is equal to c. So I'm going to make use of that to solve this question. That means I have 3x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to this last term here, 4x minus 3y. Collecting like terms, 3x minus this 4x 
then minus 2 y this is minus 3 y when it crosses equality become plus 3 y equal to then I'll take this one to the other side which will be minus 1 plus plus 1 cross equality become minus 1 3x minus 4s is minus x and minus 2y plus 3y is plus y equal to negative 1 <coughs> I would like to get rid of this negative here, so I'll multiply through by negative 1. So negative 1 multiply here, I'll have plus x, then negative 1 multiply this, I'll have this equal to 1. Let me call that equation 2, equation 1 rather. Okay, now doing the same thing here, I'll have 2x plus 5y minus 10 equal to 4x minus 3y collecting like terms 2x minus 4x plus 5y plus 3y taking this term to the other side become plus 10 2x minus 4x is minus 2x 5y plus 3y is 8y equal to 10. Again, I would like to eliminate this minus here. So I'll multiply through by minus 1 so that I have 2s minus 8y is equal to minus 10. Let me call that equation 2. Solving 1 and 2 simultaneously equation 1 and 2 simultaneously Let me write them together so that you can look which one we want to eliminate equal to 1 then 2x minus 8y equal to negative 10 this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2 I will not I will want to eliminate x this the coefficient is smaller here and to do that I'll multiply equation 1 by 2 and this one by 1 so that 2s times this is 2, uh, 2 times s rather, is 2x, and minus 2y equal to 2. 1 times this is still 2s, minus 8y equal to uh, 10, negative 10. I am subtracting, so the signs are the same here. 2 minus 2 is gone. Then, minus 2y minus minus 8y will be minus 2y plus 8y whatever you do here is the same thing you do here I subtracted here to eliminate this so I have to subtract here too and this is already having minus there this is the minus there then minus and then this minus here this minus is the subtraction that we are doing the 8, of, uh, 8y is already carrying minus, which is this. Minus times minus gives you plus. Okay. So, and minus 2y plus 8y is 6y. So here we have 6y equal to, again, there we have 2 minus. Already 10 is carrying minus, which will be 2 plus 10, which is 12. 12. Dividing both sides by 6. So that y will be 12 divided by 6 is 2. And if y is 2, now we can solve for x. Solving for x using equation 1. Equation 1 says x minus y is equal to 1. And we know y to be 2, that means x minus 2 is equal to 1 s is equal to taking minus 2 to the other side when it crosses this side it becomes plus 2 s is equal to 3 we have some past question here y the first one 3 y minus 2 s is equal to 21 let's call it equation 1 the second equation 4 y plus 5 x 
equal to 5. Let's call it equal to 2. I want to use the elimination to solve this. I multiply the first equation by 5, which is the coefficient of s in equation 2. Multiply the second equation by 2, which is the coefficient of s in equation 1. 5 times 3y is 15y. 5 times negative 2x is negative 10x equal to 5 times uh, 21, that is 105. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 times. 2 times this is 8y, and 2 times this is 10x, 2 times this is 10 also. Here the signs are different, so we add. So whatever we do here, we must do it here and here. So 15y plus 8y, that will be 23y equal to 105 plus um, 10 is 115. Dividing both sides by 23, 23, y will be 115 divided by 23, y is equal to 5. Now solving for x using equation 1. Equation 1 says so 3y minus 2s is equal to 21. 2s equal to 21. And we know y to be 5. So 3 times 5 minus 2s is equal to 21. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 2s equal to 21 minus 2s is equal to 21 minus 15 minus 2s is equal to 21 minus 15 is 6 dividing both sides by negative 2 so the negative can cancel the negative 2 can cancel out since divided by negative 2 is negative 3 therefore S is negative 3, y, y is y is 5. Now we're going to solve the last question which says using the substitution p equal to 1 over x and q equal to 1 over y. Solve the simultaneous equations 1 over x minus 5 over y equal to 7 and 2 over x plus 1 over y equal to 3. Okay, let me reaction say that P is equal to 1 over X. YQ is equal to 1 over Y. And the question given to us, the first one say 1 over X minus 5 over Y is equal to 7. Let me make adjustment to this term of the equation. So I can write this as 1 over x minus pi times 1 over y is equal to 7. So that I can now substitute. I say 1 over s is p. So I'm going to replace this 1 over s now with p. And minus 5 times 1 over y is q. You can take q is equal to 1 over y. So 5 times q equal to what? 7. Let's call this equation 1. And doing the same thing for this second equation, I have 2 over x plus 1 over y equal to 3. Let me make adjustments in this first term. I can write that as 2 times 1 over x and plus 1 over y equal to 3. Now replacing it according to this instruction, p is equal to 1 over x. So that will be 2 times p instead of 2 times 1 over x. So since p is this, we count 2p plus 1 over y is q equal to 3. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have formed two equations. So let's solve the two equations simultaneously. I want to rewrite it. p minus 5q equal to 7, that is my equation 1, and equation 2 say 2p plus q equal to 3. 
That is equation two. I want to use elimination and I'm eliminating P. But here the coefficients of P are not the same. So we need to make them the same. By multiplying equation one by two, that is the two here, I will exchange them and multiply equation two by one. And that will give us two times P is two P. Two times negative five is negative 10. That is negative 10 Q equal to two times seven, 14. One times P is two P, two P rather. Then one times Q is Q. One times three is three. When eliminating, if the signs are different, we add. So we have different signs here. Okay, we are eliminating P, not this. So 2P, 2P, the signs are the same. So in this case, we are going to subtract. Both of them are positive 2P, 2P. So 2P minus 2P is zero, done. And negative 10Q minus Q is negative 11Q equal to 14 minus three is 11. Q therefore is 11 divided by negative 11. That will be negative Q therefore is equal to negative one. Now solving for P, solving for P using the name of the equation we solve, but let me use equation one. Equation one says P minus five Q is equal to seven. I will know Q to be negative one. So P minus five times negative one is equal to seven. Uh, negative five times negative one is positive five. P plus five is equal to seven. P therefore is equal to seven minus five. Then plus five cross the equality become minus. Seven minus five is two. So P is two. However, the question wants us to solve for the value of X and Y, not P and Q. So we'll go back to the relationship which says P is equal to one over X. So if P is one over X, P is one over X. Now what is P? P is two. This implies one over two, and one over X rather is equal to two cross multiply. One is equal to two S. So dividing both sides by two, two will cancel. Therefore S is one over two. I will do the same thing called Q. And the relationship between Q and Y is Q is one over Y. Q is one over Y. One over Y. And Q is negative one. The negative one is equal to one over Y cross multiply. That means negative Y is equal to one. Dividing both sides by negative one. Y is equal to one divided by negative one is negative one. Therefore, our final answer is S equal to half. Y, Y is one.